Right then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome to my very first FIFA 15 player review guys and as you can tell by the title and on the screen right now we have got the ex sweat meister himself Emmanuel Emenike now as we all should know by now Emenike has made his way back into FIFA Ultimate Team after not be making an appearance for a year he was not in FIFA 14 as we all know but back in FIFA 13 by Christ he was easily one of the best strikers in the entire game he just suited the game so well and you Came up against him pretty much every game or nearly every other game. Now he is finally back in FIFA 14 and is he worth the coins? That's what you guys are going to want to watch this video for. He's not the most expensive of players guys. I wanted to do a bit of a fun review for my first review. Uh, and then obviously later on as the months go by we will focus on the bigger better players now how much does Emenike go for right now as of recording this video guys he does go for around about the six to seven thousand coin mark now to a lot of people that's nothing but to a lot of other people at this point in the game you know during the the, the time before the disc release of the game is out that's a lot of coins to a lot of people so a lot of people are going to want to know whether he's worth investing in and whether he's worth buying basically in my opinion I've got to say yes this card is absolutely absolutely fantastic if you liked him in FIFA 13 and you missed him throughout FIFA 14 you're going to want to try this card in my opinion he is absolutely fantastic guys now let me go through some of his positives and negatives like I always do I'll go through his weaknesses first guys because there are a hell of a lot more positives that I found than weaknesses his weaknesses are as follows he has got very poor passing he's got 55 passing on the card and you can you get what you expect guys his passing is absolutely dreadful but when you think about it nobody's going to use MNEK for his passing you're going to be using him to to pace abuse and run through teams using his, um, his dribbling and ball control uh, and hopefully overpowered shooting to score you goals basically and that's what I found this year with FIFA 15 I mean all I've played so far is the early access via the season ticket and from what I've experienced so far guys FIFA this year seems to be heavily based on pace and dribbling and MNEK has got very very good stats in both areas he's got 88 pace and he feels like it's, his pace is in the 90s guys you will see the from the goals that he scored that I have included in this video he's just running through teams and he's just annihilating every person that he comes up against and when he gets in the box he finishes so damn easily I mean when you look at his in-game stats he's got 81 finishing but it feels like it's in the high 80s to low 90s he is definitely the striker well one of the most overpowered strikers in the game I can't imagine anybody being better than this maybe a barbo seeing as a barbo now has four star skills that guy just looks absolutely fantastic but when it comes to his other minuses that I found with this card guys his aerial ability for me really isn't bad that's something else that I found uh, with this version well with this FIFA 15 headers seem to be gone which is a big big plus in my eyes because headers were so annoying in FIFA 14 it'll be nice to have a year of FIFA where headers do not play a major role in the game basically his other minus that I found with him is that his long shots are pretty bad now I did score one or two lucky shots that will be included in this video when it but when it compares to the amount of shots that I took from a distance uh, it really really was bad the amount that he did uh, manage to convert for me now his pluses are pretty much everything else guys like I've already mentioned his pace is absolutely fantastic Emenike in FIFA is known for his pace and he does not disappoint guys you give this boy space and he is gone his right foot shot is absolutely fantastic he's got 80 shooting guys on the card as you can see right about now on your screens his card is on the right hand side of the screen that's something that I've added and I'm going to include in every one of my player reviews just to sort of you know give you guys a comparison on the the, the different sort of cards and different versions of the current player uh, currently has his other strengths are his dribbling and ball control is awesome you will see from the goals in this video you can tell that it is better than 76 dribbling in my opinion it feels like it's in at least the low 80s to mid 
safeties uh, and like I said FIFA this year looks to be heavily based around dribbling so that obviously does play a major factor in that he's got the perfect work rates high attacking low defending exactly what you want to see in a striker his positioning was good for me I didn't have any problems he was making the runs that I needed him to make at the time I needed him to make them so obviously uh, that made me enjoy him that much more his strength is awesome he, he, he really did not disappoint in that area uh, as well you know combining pace and strength is exactly again what you want in a striker and MNEK brings that to the pitch uh, and he's got four star skills uh, four star weak foot sorry and three star skills his weak foot guys it felt like a five star it really really did and it really did surprise me how well he did perform on his left foot guys and obviously three star skills if you're a bit of a skiller in FIFA then this guy may not be the player for you but then again when you see Emanike you're not going to be expecting to use skills you're going to be expecting him to power through teams uh, and easily score you the goals basically and that's what he does in my opinion guys this this card is definitely worth trying if you have the coins definitely try and make a team around him and try him or you can just wait for his price to drop because at some point uh, very very soon I'm guessing he will become discard price and pretty much everybody is going to use him uh, and that's going to wrap up this video guys he is definitely worth it in my opinion now if this video did help you decide whether or not to buy him as always a like is always greatly appreciated it really does help uh, and also subscribe for more fifa 15 reviews to come in the future guys and as always from me take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys